So today we're talking about five things in Valheim you may not know is in the game. I'm going to stress the may here, guys, because, you know, some of them you, you might know, but hopefully there's at least one or two that you didn't know. If there's any that you think other people would like to know that is, you know, not so obvious, let us know down in the comments. And also, if any of my tips here today are things you didn't know, please do let me know. It's always good to get feedback from you guys. So let's go into our first tip. So first, we're going to start off with something that I didn't know in the game. And that is, in the Swamp Biome, you can equip your Wishbone and actually find hidden iron. So I'm going to show you how that works in practice right now. Oh, wait, are we already pinging? I think we are. Okay, here we go. So there you go. It's pinging just like it is when you're trying to find silver. You run around until you get to the point where it's pinging really quickly. And then you dig down. And there is tons of hidden iron underneath the land in the swamp biome. So you don't just have to find it in crypts. You can actually find it like this as well. So I'm going to keep doing this until I find the location. And then we'll have a look how much iron we get. Okay, here you see the wishbone is now flashing quite frantically. And I'm looking at some muddy scrap piles. So there we go, guys. These muddy scrap piles, obviously you do find them in the crypts that we see. Uh, where is there? There's one just there but they are all over the swamp biome too so if you're looking for iron you're struggling a bit then that's a great way that you guys can find some extra iron in your worlds so the gray dwarf mobs are a little bit annoying in the game you guys probably know that but one thing that you may not have known is that when you're fighting the elder boss gray dwarfs will actually heal the elder boss so if you start damaging it and there's a load of gray dwarfs around you're going to find it hard to kill it because it's going to keep on taking uh healing from these gray dwarfs so if you're fighting the elder boss guys do make sure that there's no Grey Dwarfs in the area, and if there are, be sure to kill them. Uh, otherwise, he's going to, you know, heal the boss, and, and that's just not good. Yeah. <laughs> The next thing that I was not aware about until quite recently is that you can actually turn vegetation down in the settings under the graphics section, put it right the way down to low, and you'll see when you do that, my goodness, finding mushrooms and like raspberries and things like that is actually so much easier. So if you are struggling and when you're exploring stuff, this is definitely something I think you guys should consider. You can see how much that cleared the land. I mean, if we look at it now, how flat and stuff this is, how easy it is to see everything, we go back into the graphics here and put that one up to high, then yeah, this is... <laughs> It's a, it's a big difference, guys. So just a quick shout out here to Green Apple Pie, who put me on to that comment there about the turning vegetation down. Thank you for that. And uh, I do appreciate when you guys let me know tips and things that you find in the game. So using the cart is very, very useful. But one thing that gets a bit annoying is when you're done, you have to look at it and press E. And when you're trying to do it in a rush, it can be a bit annoying. But something I didn't realize until just recently was as you're running along with your cart, when you're done, you can simply dodge roll out of it and you're done. That is making my life so much easier. It seems like a small thing, but if anyone has used the cart for an extended period in this game, you probably know what I'm saying when I say that is such a useful tip to know. And another person to thank here is Dan Iwanicki, who let me know about this tip from the cart. Dan, I actually really appreciate this one. It has been super useful for me. Something else I wasn't aware of until recently is that placing down workbenches actually prevents any mobs from spawning within their radius. Now, there's a couple of good things about this. First of all, it's an inexpensive way to form defenses around your base. And second of all, because they have the perimeter lines you can see there in yellow right now, and if we hover over this, they turn red, just in the corner of the screen, hopefully you guys can see that but you guys know what I mean they have the perimeter lines you can see exactly what areas of your base mobs can and can't spawn in so this can be very useful for defensive couldn't think of the right word there defensive purposes would be that would be the word that's that's what they're useful for so now what I want to do guys is actually end this video by giving you five more tips that maybe you don't know I mean you might know some of these they're a bit more common why is my wolf cape on backwards <laughs> it's Hang on. Okay, took it off and back on again. We're good. We're good. Uh, yeah, so five things here now that are some other tips that you may not know, but you might know some of these. I just wanted to try and make sure there'd be at least something in this video for everyone. So let's take a look at what those five are. When exploring, you'll find structures like this that have barrels outside. And I didn't know still recently, but you can actually smash these barrels open and get some pretty cool loot from them. So from there, it looks like we got ourselves some tin ore, maybe some resin and stuff as well, by the looks of it. So I've, I've found in the past in them as well, things like coins and other ores and stuff like that. So definitely like a useful thing to, uh, to check out when you're out exploring and of course these structures do have chests in them as well if you didn't know that and also while you're exploring just a quick little tip here guys be sure to use the comma and full stop or period key as you can see my mini map in the corner there it can zoom in and out i mean a lot of people know this but again this is one of the bonus tips okay <laughs> we mentioned gray dwarfs earlier in the video did you know that by simply holding a torch they will stay away from you they will not try to attack you when you're holding a torch they will still run away though and do their ranged attack where they throw rocks at you but as you can see you can wield a shield and torch together so if you're in a bit of bother with Grey Dwarfs, simply hold a torch and hold your shield, and pretty much you're not going to take any damage from them. 
they're also scared of fire so you could also just set down a campfire stand near there and uh, even have like a bow and then you could be shooting at them or uh, something like that if you wanted to basically gray dwarfs don't like fire that's that's the take home here i've talked about this one before but when you see a stone structure like this in sort of an oval shape grab your pickaxe and dig it out start at one end and dig right the way through to the other underneath here you will find buried treasure and also bones i've had a lot of people tell me that they thought the arrow in the mini map in the top right hand corner of your screen that arrow in the bottom left was pointing towards the next boss guys i can confirm this is actually wind direction i mentioned this before in a previous video but basically you can use this to help you sneak up on animals if the wind is blowing against me as it is right now then if there were a deer where these stone stairs are it'd be able to creep up on it a lot easier than if it was say here because the wind will carry your scent towards that deer or whatever it is you're trying to sneak up on so just a random little one but that is uh that's a thing yeah another random little one guys uh people have said they weren't aware of is when you're making a wooden shield before you hit craft you can actually go over here to the style button and choose the style of shield you want so if you want like a blue shield like this you can have it now did you also know what's crafting you can click again to cancel the craft if you've done it by accident two little tips in one way <laughs> so guys i really hope you found at least something in this video helpful or new to you and if you did please do consider dropping a like it really is greatly appreciated and let us know down in the comments as i said if there's any things that i missed or things you want to share with us if you like valheim content and want to see more then please do consider subscribing to see more of my valheim content of which there will be a lot coming up guys that i can assure you but for now it's just time to say uh, thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time and as always guys here come the dad jokes so i was thinking if a viking is reincarnated is he bjorn again that one works. Yeah, the one about uh, where the uh, people from the southern states of America go when they die. Yow halla. <laughs> I, I can't do the accent. I'm not. I'm not American. But hey, you know, you know what? You know what a Viking calls his truck a fjord. Yeah, yeah. The, the dad jokes get worse every video, guys. So so keeps you know. Stay tuned for the next one. <laughs>